Hello, my name is Paul from Quick and Mobile, and we are here at the Canaveral National Seashore. And I'm going to be demonstrating, because we get a lot of questions, the Eagle Folding Power Wheelchair. As you can see, the chair literally opens up in just a second or less, and we have a safety clip in the back of the chair to lock the chair open. Before we really get started with the Eagle, I do want to explain that we've been getting a lot of questions about the Eagle Folding Power Wheelchair. Now, you'll have to forgive the cars that are driving by because we are at a national park, and one of the reasons that people get the Eagle is because they can get out and do things. Like, I hope that you will be able to as well. As I was saying, this video, we're going to show you everything about the Eagle. So it might take a little bit of time, but you shouldn't have any questions at all. We're going to take the tape measure out. We're going to give you measurements. We're going to give you specifications. We're going to give you demonstrations. So you will literally know everything. To begin, let's take a close up look at the actual Eagle Power Folding Wheelchair. One of the things that people really like here is that the Eagle has, as you can see, a full 19 inches of seating area. Now the design here, the chair is actually in locked mode right now, which we'll get into in a little bit. You would make the chair a power chair by looking at the Sensi Touch joystick. You have the ability to turn the chair on. You have the ability to gauge and see exactly how much battery is left as the green bars disappear and get into the orange or red. That means that the actual power is waning down and then you have the speed control as well. This chair goes up to four miles per hour and it has incredibly tight steering which we'll show you in a little bit. The chair, once it is on and once the wheels are locked, it is a folding power wheelchair that with one finger you have the ability to have a very tight turning radius to go in literally 360s. It has an electromagnetic braking system so when you take the finger off of the joystick the chair stops. You have very powerful reinforced bars here for the seating area. So I can bear down all of my weight and lift myself up. This front footrest with one finger gets completely, totally out of the way. So I can utilize the arms of the chair to really push myself up, putting all of my weight down on. One of the, one of the best features about the Eagle making it so convenient is that it does have a footrest that folds up flush to the chair and that easily drops right back down, getting totally, completely out of the way. Now, if we take a look at the arms here, the arms very easily fold up by switching one lever. So you have locked down, one lever folds them up, the arms, totally, completely get out of the way. So if I wanted to do a side mount or a side dismount, it is very easy for me to do. It is very easy to lock the arms back into place. Now if we take a look, and I'm going to put the chair in freewheel mode, if we take a look at the back of the chair here, there's two red switches. Now, these are both 250 watt brushless motors, so that makes them maintenance free by design. The actual frame on this chair is with 7003 grade aluminum or aircraft aluminum alloy. And you look at the stainless steel components as well. The chair is a very strong chair. And if we take a closer look at some of the weld points, you can really see that no stone was left unturned 
when it comes to actual quality. With the very simple flip of a switch, so all I have to do, this switch goes back, this switch goes back, just like a light switch, the chair is locked, it doesn't move, I can turn the joystick on, I can sit in the chair, and I can go just about anywhere I want to go. If we take a look in the back of the chair, I push this switch forward, so this switch forward, I unlock the wheels, and look what I'm able to do. I'm able to utilize this as a push chair. I can have somebody that is sitting in the chair, and I can push them if I need to go up a step I can get the chair up the step I can lift the back wheels get them over a threshold there are a lot of possibilities when it comes to the Eagle and as you can see this is grass it goes over a grassy area with no problem no complication at all so let's go ahead and once again put the chair in locked mode so it's now a power chair and we'll take a look at some of the features. The front wheels right here are seven and a half inches, okay, in total, tall, and about two and a half inches wide. Very heavy reinforced casters. Keep in mind, this is one of the only folding power wheelchairs, lightweight folding power wheelchairs, which means it only weighs 50 pounds without the batteries, 58 pounds with the batteries, they can hold up to 400 pounds and if you take a look here you have safety reflective material so when you're driving the chair you should not have any issues if we take a look at the rear wheels here okay these rear wheels we have a good 12 inches on the rear wheels and these as you can see are bridged grooved able to take on a lot of different terrain and we use the heavy duty high quality black polyurethane unlike folding power chairs or power chairs with gray wheels that easily wear out these wheels last a long time and have the ability to tackle a lot of tough terrains as we'll show you in a little bit you can see of course eagle hd heavy duty chair and of course a feature that we have over the wheels is the splash guard because this chair unlike chairs that have the battery underneath the batteries here are in the side so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how easy it is to take a battery out this battery right here is faa travel approved 6 ah hours or 6 amperage hours it is just four pounds for this battery the battery is out of the unit. I can press the button to see how much power I have. The more green, the more that the battery is full. Red means empty. And with the charger, as I will show you in a little bit, there is even a charging port on the outside of the battery. So a battery could be charged on an individual basis outside of the chair. I want to show you something, so I'm not putting this battery back into the chair just yet. Look at this. I'm turning the joystick on. The chair only requires one battery to function. So I'm holding the other battery, and I'm able to function in this chair, do everything that this chair does with a single battery. Keep in mind, I told you that the chair itself weighs 50 pounds. Right now we're looking at 54 pounds because it has just one battery. This chair has a smart posit drive system so it can tell if you have one battery or both batteries. The batteries are very easy to take out. Each battery gives you the individual ability to open up the charging port area. It has a safety protection so it does not get sand or anything like that in the area or dirt or grime. Keeps it nice and clean and the batteries as you can see go right into the hollow arms of the chair. That folks lets you get stuck in a little bit of a rainstorm or a little bit of mist without ruining the batteries. There are plenty of chairs where the batteries are actually in 
the hard to reach, cumbersome back of the chair, not this chair. While we're looking at the back of the chair, I would like to point out again that this chair folds up very simply by this one unlatched bracket. And we're going to look at the side of the chair to fold this chair up. You saw how quickly and easily it was to unfold. Just as easy as it is to unfold, it's that fast, that easy to fold. The chair has a couple of kickstands right here that you can see in the back of the chair. And if we look underneath the chair here, you have a weatherproof basket. And of course, you can see that it's very easy for me to grab the wheels. Now, the chair is locked right here, so it's not going to give me the ability to pull it but I can pull the chair behind me very easily with the wheels unlocked. So to unfold the chair, very easy, very simple. And with, with all of this being said, one of the biggest questions that we get is, can I test drive the chair? Is there a place where I can see this chair? Unfortunately, the answer is no. In a retail environment, the Eagle, as we're showing you, is something that insurance companies typically will not pay for. Medicare will not pay for this chair because it's considered a recreational vehicle. Therefore, a brick and mortar location cannot make the amount of money that they want to by billing an insurance company. So their margins on this Eagle are typically a lot lower. So that's why what we're going to do in this video right now is give you some specific measurements. Let's take a look at the chair down, the foot rest from the ground. Looks like that top of the foot rest is what? Right around five inches. If we take a look at to the ground, to the top of the seat, we're looking at 19 inches. The memory foam cushion right here is a good two inches. This is with Velcro, it comes right off. And you can see that the cover actually unzips, allowing for the mesh to be very easily cleaned and it's a breathable material. So if you do have to sit in this chair for an extended period, you don't have to worry about being uncomfortable. Now from the top of the back of the seat here, to the top of the backrest, we're looking at about 17 inches. If you're looking at the top of the handle, we're looking at 21 inches of space. We showed you earlier on, let's take a look again, that the seating area is about 19 inches of space. And if we're thinking about even getting this in a very narrow doorway from caster to caster, we're looking at about 23 inches of space with the Eagle Folding Power Wheelchair. Underneath the chair, you're going to find a few goodies. When you first order your chair, the first thing that you're going to find is the actual joystick right here is going to be in the basket underneath. So the joystick is going to be in the basket underneath the chair. Weatherproof basket. You're also going to find a safety belt in that basket. So every Eagle comes with a free safety belt. You are going to find a charger in the basket underneath the chair. This allows you to plug it in anywhere in the world. It is an international approved, international voltage charger. It does happen to come fitted and outfitted for United States outlets, but with the simple plug to convert, you can plug this in anywhere in the world and we have, just as I demonstrated earlier on, the ability to plug the charger directly into a battery so you can charge the batteries outside of the unit. Or we have the very easy ability to remove this part right here. And you see that this has a charging port that lines right up with the joystick that you can plug into the joystick and through the joystick you can actually plug this into the wall, charging both batteries at the same time. In addition, you will find the Eagle instruction manual underneath the basket and a couple more goodies that I would like to point out. You will find a couple Allen wrenches or a couple of tools 
that will allow you, there's a wrench as well that I unfortunately forgot to pack, but it will allow you to work on any bolt on this machine. So every single bolt that comes with this machine, you have the instant ability to work with. You could put just about anything underneath this basket. It zips up very easily. It is a weatherproof basket. Let's take a look at the back of the chair again. I'm going to put this chair into freewheel mode. I'm going to latch it. We're going to look at the back of the chair. Of course, the chair needs to be off to be in freewheel mode and moving around. And we're going to take a look here from the top to the bottom. We're looking at a good just over three feet of space here and if we take a look at the width on the back side wheel to wheel we're looking at just under 23 inches of space we're looking at right around 23 inches of space on the casters so that gives you a good idea of the actual chair now keep in mind i am six feet tall right here six feet tall it's very easy for me to get in and to get out of this chair. It's very easy for me to get in and out of the chair nudging the footrest aside, putting the footrest back down. For some people that have very long legs, unlike myself, it would be very easy to put an additional cushion on this cushion to alleviate any discomfort on the knees. So folks, I think that we have explained just about all there is to explain. The only thing that I haven't showed you yet is how easy it is to actually put the Eagle back into a vehicle to transport the Eagle. There's two more things that I want to show you. The joystick itself comes off with the simple twist of a knob. You have a key that lines up the male and the female parts. You have a very simple ability to, with a hand knob, take this joystick out it takes probably about five or ten seconds keeps the joystick safe so we're going to put the joystick in the car and then we're going to take a look at the unit itself i'm going to unlatch the latch that is in the back here i am going to fold the unit up and what i'm going to do very easily i'm going to get the unit close to the car but before that i did want to show you something i didn't show you a little bit earlier on right here now that the chair is unlocked look how easy it is for me to walk and maneuver the chair around i'm going to maintain my grip i'm going to squat down just a little bit easy to pick the chair up lightweight simple easy to maneuver there you go the eagle is loaded back up we had a wonderful adventure in cape canaveral so folks thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to look at the eagle folding power wheelchair hopefully we have answered all of your questions if you have any additional questions please feel 100 percent welcome to visit quick n mobile.com and you can see this video and many many more videos about the eagle going through all different sorts of terrain till then make it a great day